What's going on guys? Today we are going to be going over how to get live crypto prices in Google Sheets. If you look up here, you can see I have the formula listed for how I get live crypto prices in Google Sheets. And you'll see here we have the live price for Dogecoin. This is a completely interactive formula, so if I were to drag this down, you can see that we now have the live crypto prices for each of these cryptocurrencies. This is the exact same formula that I have used to make my crypto tracker and my investment tracker in Google Sheets, which you can download at my Patreon page in the link in the description. Okay, so in order to get live crypto prices into Google Sheets, what we are going to do is we are going to web scrape these prices from coinmarketcap.com. And if I scroll down here, you can see it currently has a live list of all these cryptocurrencies prices. So we would be able to pull any cryptocurrency um, the price for it from this entire list, and this is a huge list, so this is a great way to get live crypto prices into Google Sheets. So let's jump back over to our spreadsheet. And in order to web scrape, which I have a video on my channel on how to web scrape in Google Sheets, we are going to use the import HTML command. So the first thing we need to do is we need to use equal sign and type out import HTML. And then the first thing we need to do for this formula is we need to take the URL from the website we are going to be web scraping from. So I'm just going to come over here and copy and paste this URL and paste it right here. So you can see we have coinmarketcap.com and then a slash and then we want to pull the currencies. And I'm going to add a slash to that as well. And we want this to be in quotation marks as well. So I'm going to add those here. And then now we need to indicate to Google Sheets that this is a table. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a comma right here and in quotations we're going to say table and we want to web scrape from the very first table that's available so I'm going to do a comma and add a one right here and I'm going to close this parentheses and hit enter and you'll see now this table has loaded in but we have actually pulled the entire table from coinmarketcap.com. But what we want is to pull individual prices for these cryptocurrencies. So what we need to do is two more steps. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to indicate exactly which cryptocurrency we want this formula to pull. So in this case, we want it to pull whatever is to the left of the price, which is currently Dogecoin. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come up here before the import HTML command. And we are going to list concat and then we are going to come over here and right after these quotation marks we are going to add a comma and we are going to click on Dogecoin right here so you can see it's currently listing C8 and let's close off this parentheses here so what I have just done is concat means it's going to combine this URL with C8. So in this case, it's going to be coinmarketcap.com slash currencies slash Dogecoin. So now this formula is going to know we want to pull the price of Dogecoin. But we also need to do an index formula, which is going to help us pull just the price of Dogecoin and not this entire table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here before import HTML and I'm going to do an open parentheses and type out index. And I'm going to do an open parentheses. Then I'm going to come all the way here to the end and I'm going to do a comma one, comma two. And then we are going to close off this with two parentheses and I'm going to hit enter. And you can see we now have the live price for all of these cryptocurrencies. It even pulled bitcoins, ethereums and these other cryptocurrencies as well all from coinmarketcap.com. So these cryptocurrencies will automatically update their price periodically. So this will help you create phenomenal crypto trackers, investment trackers, really whatever you want to use it for. If you want to learn more about web scraping in Google Sheets or how to pull dividends or industry into Google Sheets, then you can check out some of the tutorials that I have listed on my channel. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.